Hey everybody, welcome to Post to Post. My name's Neil. Usually I'm unboxing a random hoodie or mostly jerseys, as you guys know if you're familiar with the channel and if you're subscribed. If you're not, hit that subscribe button. Uh, but today's a little different. Something I'm unboxing something I've never unboxed before, ever, ever. I've got a load of patches here. NHL patches. I've gone out, I've ordered over 10, I think. I think there's over 10 here. Because I've committed to not buying jerseys until April. With a few exceptions, a couple of exceptions. There are still some on the way, just for the record, that I ordered previous to that commitment. And there are if there's two there are two that I may buy if it comes available with both the Buffalo ones, but just in general, I, I've passed on that big line A jersey sale the other day it was 79 dollars i really wanted it but i was strong i didn't get it and uh, i decided to do something a little bit cheaper uh there's a site called i think it's like patch patch collection or something and uh, they had a big sale on so usually uh one of these patches i'll just show this one because it's not really that elaborate it's the 100 year uh patch so i think i think this was Ten or fifteen dollars full price, and I got it for three dollars. Like all of this, all of these patches were well, not all of them, but ninety-five percent of them were like sixty or seventy percent off. So this entire thing here cost me under forty-five or fifty dollars Canadian or something like that. So uh, definitely not the price of you know spending one hundred and ninety or two hundred and thirty dollars on a jersey or something like that. So spending a little bit more wisely now, but still adding to my collection. Uh, in a different way. I want to increase the quality of my collection versus the quantity of my collection. That's another reason why I've been, why I've been selling so many jerseys. I was up over 120 there for a while. I think I'm down to low 100s right now. I actually sold quite a bit and I'm selling more. If you're interested in buying any of my jerseys, uh, join my Discord server. I have a whole room set up for jerseys, jersey sales, not just for me, but others as well, selling jerseys. Uh, it's basically a buy and sell channel. So there's been, there's been some tra transactions already in there. So uh, yeah, if you're interested, I have posted some jerseys in there, and I'll post some more as well. But let's go through these one at a time. Uh, I already showed you this one, so we're going to start with this one. So 1917 to 2017. So you know that this is not going on an Adidas jersey because this this patch was only on Reebok prior to them switching to uh, Adidas. So while I, sh while I show you that, I'm going to show you uh, more that go with it. This here is my only no sorry i just got a geez I, I already forgot it's actually there in the background i think behind me up there uh red wings adidas this is my second <laughs> originally first red wings jersey uh reebok zetterberg on the back captain and i i was looking at what i could add to this jersey to make it uh, a little bit more special and i figured okay well in 2017 Detroit used a multitude of patches, like a lot. A team that never uses patches, really, and, and they used a ton. So we got this one, the 100-year 100, 100 one, which is going to go, I think they had it between a number and the, and the stripe. It's going to go down there. And then I got this one, which is, uh, I th think it was on a shoulder. I can't remember which one. I need to do my research. And then I got the Gordie Howe one, which I think was here, maybe? Maybe that was on a shoulder. I knew before I ordered them, I just don't know now. <laughs> but regardless, this is gonna, that, when I add those, it's really gonna make this jersey stand out, in my opinion, in my collection, uh, and make it uh, extremely unique. I'm sure there are others out there who have a 27, or a Reebok uh, Zetterberg jersey out there, but they may not have those patches on there, specifically from 2017, so. Um, I'm pretty pumped about that one. That, that, that's, a, that's a jersey I'll, ne I'll never sell. So, uh, This 2014 Stanley Cup patch. I do have um, an LA Kings Reebok jersey. It is blank. However, I will be sending it off to get it uh, stitched, I think. And I'm going to get this put on it as well. Uh, the 2014 Stanley Cup patch. Uh, I'll show you this one. Vancouver Canucks, 50th anniversary patch. This is going to go on my black skate jersey with Horvat. And by the way, I don't know how I'm going to put these on. I've never 
heat pressed a patch on before. I'm not even sure if that's the proper way to do it. I do have an iron. So I'm either going to attempt it on a jersey I care the least about and see how it goes, or I'm going to try and find someone locally to do it. Um, but if I do do it, do you want to see it? <laughs> Should I make a video about me attempting to do this? Uh, but um, I'm still nervous. Uh, anyways, I, and then I got the, the green one. I don't have a jersey for this to go on. I, the Vancouver jersey that I have has their previous frontal logo design with the lettering and they didn't wear this patch with that logo so i can't put this patch on the jersey i have have to get a new one preferably white so that's the plan can't use it yet but i'm going to and then kale kale from vesper hockey hooked me up with this calgary flames 40th uh patch so that's going to go on my uh i guess technically home jersey now it was the retro jersey and now we get into the full packaged things so there are oh couple of similar ones here so 2020 Stanley Cup patch this will go on to my white uh, lightning jersey which is down there that's gonna go on there and I'll, I will send that away to get it stitched uh, and name a number and then 2020 as well so I have another 2020 patch this will go on uh, the Dallas jersey that I have the um, Jamie Ben one. And 2019, this is going to go on. I'm getting confused. Yeah, 2018, this is going to go on the Washington Capitals Ovechkin white jersey that I have. 2019, this is going to go on the St. Louis Blues white jersey that I have coming. Sorry, spoiler alert. And now we get into some really special ones and one I'm, I'm really excited for. The Colorado Avalanche 25th anniversary patch that they're wearing this year. I'll likely put this on, uh, they might have two versions of this. I can't remember which one I bought, either home or away. Maybe it's the same. I can't remember. I ordered this like a month ago. It took forever to get here. But uh, that will be going on one of my Adidas Avalanche jerseys. And then this one, which is just a beautiful patch, the Winnipeg Jets uh, 10th anniversary, technically, since they moved from Atlanta. It's been 10 years already. That's crazy that it's been a decade since Winnipeg has rejoined the league. But this is a beautiful patch. And this will be going on my white Winnipeg Jets jersey because my blue one was technically from the first year. It has the button on it on the bottom. And uh, they didn't wear this patch with that jersey. So I, I'm trying to avoid any and all possible jersey fouls. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I have the, I don't have it here, but I've shown it before on the channel. I've got the Vegas Golden Knights uh, inaugural patch that I need to put on my Vegas jersey. And then I think I have another Stanley Cup 2018 one somewhere to go on uh, one of my Vegas jerseys as well. So that's the plan. I Like I said, I'm not sure <laughs> if I'm going to do it or try and find someone else to do it. I'm definitely nervous. But if you do want to see me attempt to do it, or if you have any tips or tricks, please, please leave your tips and tricks down below in the comment section. I am not a jersey expert by any means. I I would say that I have an average amount of knowledge of, of jersey collecting. I'm fairly new to the world of jersey collecting. I've been very blessed and lucky uh, because of you guys and uh, your support in the channel and stuff. So I, I was able to grow my collection um, through these videos, which is which was pretty cool. It was a, a good enabler, uh, but not a good enabler for the wallet. So that's why, that's why I've had to pump the brakes a little bit. But yeah, please leave your tips and tricks down below in the comments section without knowing anything without knowing absolutely anything just based on the logic that i can come up with in my head is that i'm going to use my iron and put parchment paper down on top of the pa patch on the jersey parchment paper multiple layers on top of the patch and then maybe keep press it on i i don't really know <laughs> that's uh that's my plan without doing any research, zero research. Um, but I'm sure that'll change a little bit once I hear from you guys and then search the internet as well. So please let me know if you want to see me attempt that and uh, potentially screw up a jersey. That will be a very sad video if that actually happens. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Would love it if you could hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Hit the like button if you like this video. And if you get any patches of yourself, not patches of yourself, if you get any patches, comma, yourself, Please tag me on Twitter, send me a photo on Twitter, uh, tweet at me, all that good stuff. Would love to see it. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.
Thank <laughs> you.